I don't think you realize how dangerous porn really is. Apparently watching porn will completely fry your brain and ruin your life. That's what they're claiming anyway. As an avid adult content enjoyer, I was skeptical. I was shocked and perhaps a bit scared because maybe, just maybe, I make my banana cream quite often. So I set out to find out just how accurate this truly was. I was committed. I spent countless hours doing research, putting in those hours, putting in the work to find out if my brain would really fry or, you know, just turn into mush. Oops, uh, you weren't meant to see that. Porn has become so easily accessible since the invention of the smartphone. You can literally exit out this video right now and go straight to a porn site. And I hate to even mention of how anyone of any age can have access to this. All right, so let's go inside your body for a sec. Wait, no. No, I mean, let's explore your body. Wait, no, fuck. Let's learn about what porn does to your brain. Every time you nut, your brain releases dopamine. Now, what is dopamine? Dopamine is in charge of making you feel good. It is meant to make you feel good in order for you to stay motivated whenever you complete great tasks. But imagine this, you just masturbated and your brain gets rewarded for it. You basically got a reward for doing nothing. Now your brain is at risk of potentially becoming addicted and hooked on this stuff. We seek pleasure the easy way. And speaking of pleasure, this reminds me of an old quote. A man who lacks purpose distracts himself with pleasure. For as long as I could remember, I never truly had a purpose. I'm either wasting my time at work or masturbating, not at the same time. I realized that I compare myself a lot to the hottest men of Hollywood. For example, Ryan Reynolds. He's one of my favorite actors and I reached out to his agency to maybe, potentially, get his secrets on how to become the hottest guy in the world. They decline. But I think they're just playing hard to get. I think my renowned purpose is to star in a movie with Ryan Reynolds. So if you're like me and want to become the hottest man on the planet, help us by making him notice us and hit that subscribe button. And so one day he can come on the show and we can interview him and get his secrets. Now moving on. All right guys, let's bring it in for a sec. I hope you're not confused on where you stand with porn. I want to share my experience that I had throughout my journey and research. I'm hoping this helps you decide where you want to stand with porn. First off, when I watched porn, I got to watch a beautiful girl who I thought was extremely attractive get railed by another person. The way I see it, it's kind of like being cucked. For those who don't know what cuck means, it is essentially when you watch your girl getting railed by another guy. You're literally watching some dude fucking your girl your pretend girl. That's just a waste of your time. And some people are into it. I, I'm personally not that type of guy. I like putting in the work myself. And that's how you should be like too. Next lesson that I've learned. If one isn't careful, one can become reliant on porn rather than actually getting laid. All right, guys, last lesson here is that porn can lead to negative thoughts about yourself. While I was on my journey, I was like surfing the net, right? I saw all these beautiful girls getting it, and here I was sitting in the dark, not getting shit. So then it makes you realize and think like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, am I unwanted here? Damn, am I really that unwanted? Like, everybody's getting some, not me. Like, the fuck? I'm missing out. There must be something wrong with me. You internalize all that shit, and it's just not healthy. And this was one of the funniest, most hilarious things that I found while I was surfing the net. This dude is in a wheelchair and he's getting some. And I was just on my phone watching this shit by myself. That's pathetic. Here's how I want to end it with porn. It can be bad for you if you let it be. Just like anything in life. You know, you have to have self-control. You have to have discipline. Those are some things that you must have in order for it to not become a problem for you. Now, one other thing that I found that was kind of peculiar to me was in the comments section, there was a guy who was like ashamed. He literally commented, lowest point of my life. And that got me to think, why? Just because you're watching porn, why does it have to be the lowest point of your life? 
we don't know what he's going through but the way he thinks about it the way his mind perceives it as is that he's doing a negative thing i believe that us guys have been made to feel ashamed of our own libidos and you know wanting sex but i'm saying that you need that you need that libido you need that excitement for sexual thrill because you need to bring that potency and strength out to the real world and pleasure a woman like that because in the end there both parties win you know you get to show her a great time and she gets to have a great time do not be ashamed because you are interested in sex do not be ashamed yeah it's it's everything is a balance everything is a balance so yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one One of the worst parts about watching porn has to be the fact that we click on a chick who whom we find sexy and attractive and see her get absolutely railed by somebody else. If you think it could be serious, ask me to call Whoa, 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 <laughs> bitch, chill, chill. Siri. Do you want to send it or change it? <laughs> okay, canceled. Siri, fuck off. <laughs> I won't respond to that. <laughs> bitch, shut up. There you go. See? You gotta keep them in check.